Hi guys! <laughs> it is a very random Thursday and it's been exam season and I've honestly just been trying to study, trying to submit my last few assignments for school. I lie, not assignments, exams. I've had continuous assessments i've had two assignments due within like three days and it's been tough it's been difficult and i feel like studying at home i've gotten too comfortable um i have one last submission which is research and if you know research research is a heavy subject it's not something you can just do the day before so I'm going to school to sort out my life and try be more productive. You know, go to school, go to the library. I have a cup of coffee because the coffee there is a hell expensive, but I'm probably going to end up buying another cup of coffee. Let's be for real because it's cold. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, join the family, join the channel because you know I'm going to upload uh, more consistently i think but i think i will <laughs> but i hope you enjoy the vlog don't forget to like and subscribe see you i decided to start this vlog with some pre-media reset activities while i was completing my last few exams everything took a huge toll on me i would have two assignments due within 36 hours which i'm sure you could imagine was pretty hectic and I found myself stressing a lot. I was going to sleep late and waking up early, running on four to five hours of sleep just to submit on time. So going to school to study was just the change of scenery that I needed. At home, I was moving from my desk to my bed and back again for days on end. I think the biggest part that stressed me out, which I mentioned earlier, was my research project. This year, I was working with numbers, and if you know anything about me, I hate numbers. Okay, hate is a strong word, but my research assignment involved numbers and data and so much more that really challenged me this semester. But as I'm speaking to you now, I can tell you that I survived, which means that I got an A. I was just really happy that I put my mind to something and even though it proved to be so difficult, I managed to succeed in the end. So as you can imagine, a mid-year reset was exactly what I needed. The thing is, I am the type of person to put a lot of pressure on myself to do well. And so you can imagine I put way more stress on myself than I needed to. I decided to take a break. It's also freezing, freezing cold in here. People are even sleeping up there. It's, it's rough out here. Everyone always warns you about how different honors is. They emphasize on how honors is such a different ball game. And obviously being an inexperienced undergrad, that is enough to freak you out. So much changes. You go from having lectures with over 30 to 60, even more people and you move to having seminars where you're like eight in a class. And I can't emphasize just how much you're expected to do, expected to know. There are simply no loopholes, no cutting corners. You really have to do everything the way it's supposed to be done. I just ate my lunch and studied for a couple more hours and I feel so sick like sick blowing my nose sneezing over and over and over again like I'm gonna go home now and sleep.
sleep. Like I really thought I was getting better. I thought it was just like a stuffy nose because of my injury, but you know, I'm catching the flu and I have to run far. I don't want flu, I don't want to be sick. It's so inconveniencing. I don't know if I've ever told you this before, but when I tell people, they're always surprised. I did not plan on going to university straight after high school. I was so done with academics and I matriculated from a school where your marks were literally a definition of who you were. And that was not healthy at all. But yeah, I mean, the second semester has begun. Tutoring and classes have begun and I'm ready for this last semester of my honors degree. During this mid-year reset, I went to the prison break market, the four ways farmers market. I did a lot of self-care, I hung out with friends and I intentionally took my mind off of school completely. Which was really difficult because I spent the whole mid-year semester break without my marks, without knowing how I did in the first semester, which, yeah. I tried not to overthink everything, tried not to go back to what I submitted, it was a lot. This year has truly not been easy. This degree has not been easy. But I'm here and I might as well see it through. So I honestly don't know what the message is or the advice is from this video. But I'll definitely say that I learned a lot about my mind and my body. But I definitely learned that I should not be having ice cream for breakfast because I'm lactose intolerant. But that I also need to chill sometimes. The second semester, I promise nobody but myself to chill and not stress all the time. But to also have a little bit more fun. I'm at school today and I don't know how I managed to force myself to be here today because... I'm sick. There's nothing more weak, weak than having flu. Like I just keep sneezing and I'm at school and it's 8 o'clock and class only starts at 10. Why? Why am I here? Um, okay. Starting now.